up guys it's the real deal welcome to the channel guys we're playing eternal evolution again week three into the game we are already on um level 10 for the data caves against the Sira scion and yeah this is huge this is really really important so i found that to get from level five to nine is quite easy it will sort of cruise on by and then 10 is a little bit harder but you really want to put the work into this. So when we're at level nine, you can see we're sort of getting um, epic and mythic equipment. And then when you get to 10, you can start to get legendary gear. Legendary gear, it has way better stats and it's just going to boost your champions massively. So you want to do this as soon as you can. So let me just show you the commander. So commander, we've got Brian Hild. Doesn't need to be mythic. I did this as epic, um, but the bonuses that we get are for multi hitters like Taylor, like Botmark, um, anyone that's a hunter. Basically, you'll be able to see it on them because they have this um, like target next to them. Um, you can also see at the front you get extra attack, which actually I was just testing something out. It doesn't work. I put Anpu in the front and he ends up tanking the boss, so it's not a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna stick him back in the middle row. Uh, at the front, that's going to be huge for, for Leo, getting that extra HP. I mean, he hits like a truck, and his damage scales off HP. And then you can see our Hunters are going to get a flat 650 extra attack as well. So for the prototypes, um, I've got Pain. Um, so this, when an allied energy or hunter hero hits three or more enemies at the same time and with an ultimate skill, they'll gain extra 20% damage dealt by their ultimate skill until the end of the battle and it can stack up three times i mean, that just really helps with our damage the next one i'm uh, rolling with is ultima ring so this is for tanks they're going to receive uh, less damage so when they receive damage the target will have 20 percent chance of the attack of the attacker to reduce their damage by 24 percent for five seconds um yeah that is just amazing so that gives leo some great survivability then we've got the scholars monument so when an ally hero sustains crit damage from the enemy all heroes shall recover one percent of their max hp this can be only triggered every, once every three seconds again this is great for survivability it's just going to help everyone stay topped up so um yeah let's just go for it let's roll with it boys and so we've got Leo, he's like obviously amazing. He's not that evolved, but um, yeah, he's gonna be doing a ton of damage. He's gonna be tanking the fight for us. Just gonna wait for the boss to trigger. So you've got three bars here. Every time he gets to a bar, the boss will put up this shield. It's 23 hits. You need to hit him 23 times before um, that red ring goes around to the edge. If he touches it, you're going to wipe. It's going to be a fail, and we don't want that to happen. So then we've got Anpu, god-tier PvE champion. Does insane damage. He's doing the most at the moment. But the reason I'm bringing him in as well is he's got these two zombies that he summons, and those zombies are going to hit um, the lion. I don't know why it's called a lion, because it looks like a lobster to me. Um, but yeah, he's going to hit this, uh, this lobster, and... Basically, those extra hips are going to help chip away at the shield. Then we've got Taylor and Botmark, who are, they are built for this. This is their jam. And they're just going to multi-hit the boss at these key points and just break down that shield. And then when it when the shield breaks, you know, the boss is vulnerable and we can do extra damage to him and just, it's an easy W. And then obviously Serena, who's just going to heal throughout the fight. So we didn't get any legendary gear this time. Um, but it's always, you know, for me, the next stage is trying to, I've got, I found out I've been doing my homework and there's a few sneaky tricks that I'm going to try and use to try and progress to level 11. So let's check out the builds. Starting off with Leo. So actually let's come back. So Leo, he's only in Epic plus one. So I think I've only evolved him twice. So gear, we've gone for triple Vigorious. 
And again, this is all from just farming the Disa Caves. So anything that's got damage reduction and HP, um, that's what we're looking for. Um, HP percentage gloves. I would prefer the helmet to be HP percentage, but it's a uh, crit damage reduction, which is fine. And damage reduction is preferable. And then we've got flat HP on the boots. So we are rocking a total of 220k HP. I That is insane. I think you could probably get away with 170 is the lowest that I've done it with. So 170 and above is what you want to be aiming for. And then we've got Anpu, who I've been incredibly lucky with. He's already legendary. Um, there was just a few events on and stuff, and I managed to buy copies in the shop. So all of this really, really helped with him. So gear, we've got um, four pieces um, Hero, and then two pieces Hawkeye. So he needs um, attack and um, accuracy. That's all he needs, though. He doesn't need crit rate. He doesn't need crit damage. So substats, all we're looking for are attack, um, accuracy. HP is always nice as well. Give you that extra survivability. Then we've got 32% um, attack on the gloves, HP on the helmet, and then 32% attack on the boots. So 7K attack, 43 accuracy, and then 207K HP. And then we've got Taylor. So Taylor, I've only just started investing in, and he's definitely worth doing it. So for the build, we've got triple Sun Signet. He needs that crit rate. Crit rate is going to massively bump up his damage. It scales more off his, um, uh, his um, crit rate and crit damage more than it does on attack. So we've got some crit rate in the substats. Crit damage in the substats as well. And again, some more crit rate. Crit damage on the gloves would be your go-to. If not, crit rate is fine as well. Uh, some attack percentage on the helmet. And then attack percentage on the boots as well. So 5.4k attack, 57% crit rate, and then 53% crit damage. Pretty tasty stats. Bot mark. Um, he's Mythic plus two, so not as evolved as Taylor. And again, we've got some uh, crit rate. Yeah, we've got Sun Signet. We've got Overload, so we've got some crit damage. And then we've got um, Hero as well. Uh, crit rate on the gloves. Attack percentage on the chest and attack percentage on the boots. 7k attack, 47 percent crit rate and then 26 percent crit damage and just double check that i've not missed anyone so last but not least is uh serena and do not feed this champion it was a big mistake that i made early on the game i just looked at her and i thought she looks basic she looks like a basic champion and i fooded her do not food this champion she is good um yeah she's definitely carrying me hard through the game so I've got it in um, two pieces Vigorious and then four pieces Abundant. And Abundant is just going to increase the amount of healing she does. Again, you just want HP on her. So any HP that we can get is going to help. Unfortunately on the boots, I could only get defense, but defense is going to help with her as well. And that's it, guys. So that is the builds and that's the gear. I hope this video helps some of you guys out there. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash, that subscribe, and I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.